To function properly, a GPU requires hundreds of capacitors on its underside. Or does it? I have removed every single capacitor from the backside of this GPU, and we're going to see if this leads to some crazy errors or if it just functions as normal, but what are the odds of that? After all, physically prying off electrical components from a PCB does sound kind of crazy, and it is, so please do not try this at home. But if you've been following this series, then you know that our GPU has still worked after taking off two, four, six, and even eight capacitors, and sorry for the delay, I've been dealing with some personal stuff. But now it's time for the moment of truth. With our capacitor-less GPU all smooth and ready to go, we can plug it into our computer and see that the, well, the fans do spin to life. However, as we wait and wait, there's no output to be found. And in fact, we do get a VGA error code on our motherboard. And yet, if we restart the PC and wait a little longer, against all odds, this this thing still works somehow. On top of that, we can get to Windows and even survive a GPU-intensive benchmark test. I quite honestly did not see that coming.